All right, Roswell Flight Test Crew here at AMA Expo 2014, and I'm talking to Gert Lundgren, who's built this magnificent flying machine you see here. Gert, why don't you just tell us a little bit about your machine? All right, uh, this is referred to as a twin copter. It has only two uh, motors uh, as opposed to a quadcopter. And the motors are mounted upside down, and the reason for that is that it lowers the center of gravity. Also, it has a encapsulating frame that protects uh, both the propellers and uh, and people around it. Uh, now this is obviously a unique configuration. Did you write the code yourself for the flight control system? No, it, it uses uh, open source uh, software uh, originated by Dr. Uh, William Primerani of New York and uh, that one was for wingborne aircraft. So we modified that code to uh, work for a twin copter instead. And I have had uh, stability help from uh, a gentleman that has 30 years of experience from Boeing. He was uh, stability and control on the 747, and he has applied some of his uh, uh, knowledge to this craft. Now, tell me a little bit about your background. I know you've worked on quite a few big projects people would have heard of. Yes, uh, I'm a mechanical engineer graduated in the uh, Technical Institute in Sweden and I worked for Saab aircraft in Sweden on projects like the Biggen going back some 30 years and uh, we also uh, I also was hired on by Boeing in Seattle so I worked on projects like uh, the su supersonic transport and later on we started the business 25 years ago me and my wife Ingela and uh, we got the contract to do the entire structure of the Global Hawk original, starting back in uh, 1994. And we supported that program all through the year 2000. Wow. All right, well, thank you so much for taking the time to show us your machine here. Um, this is Lu Lucidity from the Roswell Flight Test Crew, signing off from AMA 2014. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you. All right, so after we finished talking to Gert, Tekkenstein just had to give this thing a try. So here's a look at that. Okay, Brian, so what was that like? <laughs> Boy, that was really touchy. It wants to go now. Like it, this, this small enclosed area is it's hard to keep it straight, but that's a lot of wind. Those are big propellers there. And uh, so what, how, how did it handle those you know, two? What did it, it feel like with only two propellers? What it felt, actually it felt like a quadcopter. Uh, with three propellers it felt exactly like a quadcopter, except for how twitchy. You, you give a little bit of input, it wants to go real quick. It's kind of a uh, balancing act. A little bit of expo on the RC radio would be easier to fly perhaps, but boy, it was uh, interesting and it flies good. <laughs>